My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here, back at you with another review for Constantine. And this is episode 5, and the episode is called Dance Voodoo. Now, in this episode, uh, Constantine, it takes Constantine to New Orleans, Louisiana, which um, finds out that the dead are killing the living. Yeah, and there's actually like two different types of ghosts. One that keeps on asking, do you think I'm pretty? And stabs them. Another one that hitchhikes, then pops out and uh, makes the person wreck and pretty much die. But um, Constantine goes and uh, goes and investigates one of the scenes, making that assumption. Um, and there, him and Zed meet Jim Corrigan, which some of you comic book readers may know, most likely, like 99%. But yeah, but uh, eventually, um, you know, um, <clears throat> they were able to uh, track down the people of these who these dead people were, thanks to Jim himself, and uh, found out that uh, talking to these people, you know, these people actually um, talked to a man to speak to their to their um, loved ones. So, and this person was none other than Papa Midnight. Now, when they go, uh, go to him, another woman gets her wish granted on being able to have one last final words with her husband. You know, and Papa Midnight at first is not believing him at all. Uh, because, you know, you know, any person, uh, if, um, you know, and the one thing that kind of, kind of upsets me, but I guess in a way it shouldn't at the same time, is the fact that people are paying him for these, uh, being able to speak to their loved ones one final time. But, um, thanks to, um, <clears throat> Papa looking, uh, talking to one of the demons from the underworld, from, from hell, um, was able to find out what Constantine said is true. So him and Constantine make a temporary truce, um, since it's all Papa Midnight's, um, fault, it allows Constantine's debt to be paid, and also um, <clears throat> being able to speak to Papa Midnight's sister, asking her a few questions. So they eventually go and find the bodies and try to salt and burn them. Doesn't work. And they figure out the only reason is that they are not the ones that make them rise. It's the loved ones. You know, and it's also about you know moving on. You know, letting them move on as well. So they eventually bring those people, and uh, <clears throat> um, the other uh, the other guys are um, trying to uh, occupy the two ghosts so that they that way they don't kill any more innocent people. You know, and and uh, with their consent, those people's consent, they were able to let those spirits move on. In the afterlife, you know, and I mean that's pretty much it for the episode. But I have to say one thing: it seemed like only two of those ghosts like really moved on by themselves, because the third one, the husband of the wife, he he just looked like he was just dying, straight up dying. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the episode. I have to say, um, I really did enjoy this episode and. In one specific manner, which has Jim Corgan, and you know it's it's a potential future spoiler alert if you have not seen the episode at all or something that'll happen later in the season most likely. When Zed, uh, I guess, uh, touched Jim, she saw not his past; she saw his future. Because in the comics, he eventually becomes the being known as the Spectre. Which, it saw him looking like he was dead, and it looked like an aura of a green hood and cloak. Hood and cloak. So, yeah, maybe, hmm. Now, that just brings up more questions on what's going to be the cause of the Spectre being, um, becoming who he, 
for Jim becoming the Spectre. Now, in the New 52, um, the Phantom Stranger was actually the cause of Jim becoming the Spectre. Well, who knows? Maybe Constantine has something to do with it. Who knows? You know, and at the end of the episode, um, <clears throat> uh, he was able to ask about the uh, dark, rising darkness, rising tide of darkness, and uh, found out there there is no way to really s truly stop it, and finds out that a person close to him will betray him. That only means Zed, because she has a shaky past, which I think my assumption of why she ran away was probably, um, you know, she was seeing these visions. She told her family. Family thought she was crazy, probably going to put her into a nut house, and then she ran away. That's just my real theory about uh, what's going to happen. But, uh, you know, um, I have to say it was kind of weird seeing Papa Midnight and Constantine both teaming up. It's probably going to be the only time they ever team up for a common goal. But definitely and really enjoyed the episode for the most part of Jim Corrigan, which I was surprised. I, I thought I wouldn't see him until later in the season because I knew beforehand that he was going to be in the, sh this, the, the first season of the show. So it was really nice to see him. Look forward to seeing what is going to be the cause of Jim becoming the Spectre. So it's going to be interesting figuring that out. And hopefully we could probably see some other hints of other supernatural based DC characters. Hopefully. All we can do is hope. But uh, that's pretty much it for my review. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on the episode. And also let me know what do you think will be the cause, what do you predict will be the cause of Jim Corrigan becoming the Spectre? Just let me know down below. And as always, my name's Jimmy, and until next time, bye.